Hello, 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 hello. This is Dirty Trucking, Dirty Trucking. It's going to be a quick, quick episode here on how to check for an air leak, what I do. Uh, this is the air leak that's been on the truck that I've written up that they yet have not fixed. So I don't know why we even go through the process of writing this shit up. I've written it up, but uh, it's still leaking air. So I'm going to show you what I do and what I did. On that airline right there. This is the lift axle line. I don't know if you can see it because of the sun. I've already sprayed uh, sudsy water on it and it's bubbling up. I get you can see it bubbling there. That's how I properly check for air leak. I take some type of sudsy water and I spray the area. And as you can see, it's bubbling up. That's how you check for an air leak. And this is an air leak on the lift axle line that goes to my, uh, works my lift axle, is at the base of the truck. All this has been written up. I wrote specific words. Air leak, lift axle line, connection base to the truck. Why it has not been fixed, I don't know. It is this mysterious that this particular airline keeps Ending up with air leaks every so often. I mean, nuts don't come and loose by themselves. They don't untighten by themselves, and there's nothing on there to make a turn to untighten. So, unless we got a yard gremlin that's loosening it on purpose, I, it shouldn't be leaking because I've had that that particular valve, that uh, particular nut tighten twice. But to check for air leaks, it's best to get you some type of sudsy water. Spray your lines, your connections, where air is, and that way you can find your air leaks. Once again, as you can see, it's still sudging up. Bubbling. That is where the air leak is on this truck. That I've written up, and yet it's not fixed. So I'm going to have to write it up again. This is Dirty Trucking Out on my segment on how to check how I check for air leaks. Peace out.